What's wrong, dude? Huh? Jeez, he will not leave me alone. Yeah! <laughs> you know it. You knew it was coming. Don't be surprised. Oh, old well, Freddie, me and Mama had a, uh, we had an overnight at the casino last night, a little date night. We were making up for Valentine's Day. Um, we didn't get to do anything during Valentine's Day. We had to make some time for ourselves. You all, you all know the deal. But, awesome video today. I have been waiting to open this video. Dang it, I hope you all, before we get into the video, I hope you all are uh, enjoying the little warm up that's occurring across the nation. Uh, all you Texas folk, boy howdy, I'm sorry for y'all down there. A lot of uh, pipes busting. There's gonna be some rich plumbers down south. But today, I warned y'all on the last video that uh, I had bought a ton of decoys off Facebook. And when I mean a ton, I bought 50 dozen. 50 dozen, full body, snow geese. There's two different kinds. Avery's, which are, they're pretty old, I guess. They're the two piece, which I'm not sure if I'll like them or not. I've never really seen them. Gerald seems to think that I won't like them at all because he had some a long time ago. But uh, I think there's like 30 or 34 dozen of them are Dakotas, which look really nice. And they actually come on the round basis, which is what I want because with uh, snow goose hunting, a lot of times the ground is so frozen and hard that you can't get stakes in. So if I can have round bases, that will be awesome. We're going to uh, bleed this video in to the hunt tomorrow. Uh, I got to go scout this field that I have for tomorrow. Strictly for tomorrow. The farmer wants them off ASAP. And we got Gage on his way. He did me a huge favor. Big sh freaking shout out to Gage. Seriously, he drove two and a half hours north uh, of home here with his own enclosed trailer. He emptied his enclosed trailer out of all his full bodies, drove two to three hours north, loaded his entire trailer with all these <laughs> decoys that I bought off of Facebook. And, um, he came back yesterday with him, kept him at his house. He's on his way here right now. Yeah, long story short, right? I'm so excited. I've always wanted a huge full body white spread. I wanna lay underneath the full bodies in white painter suits. I wanna be able to put a blob out in front of me, huge. It's gonna be beautiful. I don't think you guys understand how beautiful it's going to look. I'm gonna put a, uh, we're gonna put a drone up above it. Hopefully tomorrow when we hunt, after the hunt so we can really see it. Uh, we're gonna check out the decoys when Gage gets here in hopefully like five or 10 minutes. We're gonna see if I got my money's worth. It's Facebook Marketplace, and I trust the guy. The guy was very uh, genuine and nice. Gage looked them over before he loaded them all in the trailer. He said they barely fit. And his trailer, I believe, is a little bigger than this one. I think his is an 18 footer, possibly tandem axle he said that he had to like he said there's no extra room so hopefully they're in good condition hopefully i didn't get you know what overed hopefully i didn't waste my money let's see before he gets here i want to let you guys know over at duckswaterfowl.com these hats they're about out the snow camo conservation hats uh-huh they're about out as well as we only have like not very many left. We're doing a mystery box. It's a discounted mystery box. If you just click on the Ducks Waterfowl link down at the top of the description, you'll see it. It'll be right at the top of the Ducks Waterfowl page. Go grab one. They're worth it. I got one coming in the mail and when it gets here, I'll show y'all. Well, he's here. I've been filling the old pellet stove. It's getting a little nipply in here without it on. But he's got the old trailer here. What size is this? Is this, is this an 18? You in here? Where'd he go? Oh. Is that a, uh, is that an 18 foot? 16 with the V. Oh, it's a 16 foot. 
Well, she's stuffed. Bust her open, Gage. Bust her open. Were you satisfied with them? Oh, yeah. For the money? Yeah. They're in really good condition. Ah! Just a little dirty. <laughs> Look how stuffed the, the whole thing is stuffed. He was like, Bob, I don't care if we look at them, but let's use the side door because if we open the back door, everything's falling out. Literally. <laughs> uh, you almost got all your decoys out. So I don't know. I kind of want to still try to fit them in my trailer, but let's drag one. This is just a random one. That one's a little dirty, but boy on round bases, dude, that looks good. Oh yeah. No kill birds. They're definitely going to kill some birds. We got uh, feeders uprights and so these are the dakotas there should be what 34 dozen of those i think there's 20 dozen dakotas and 20 dozen, dozen okay and seven to, oh, okay that's what there's 20 dozen dakotas that are that's these on the round bases and then there's 17 dozen ghgs that'll be on stakes not round bases and then another 10 dozen ghgs that are full one piecers that are really nice that will be on stakes as well but either way tomorrow we're going to have the entire spread up the entire thing we're sitting it all uh we're going to have at least probably five six seven hopefully eight guys to get it done we're going to have a drone i'm just going to shut up let's get to it this thing's warm yeah well we're out here next morning yes, sir. We dropped it at, hey, tomorrow we're gonna try it. Uh, the, the ground is still very, very frozen, if you can't tell. But we were able to uh, hammer in a bunch of sticks. So what is that? That's not 50 dozen. What about 47? 47 dozen? Yeah. Right at 47 dozen, dozen-ish. Uh, we didn't get up the other 10 dozen, frankly, because we just ran out of time. It took us about an hour to get it up. Probably take us about an hour to get it down. But this full body spread looks so good. I'm digging it. You all will too. I'll show you in a minute. We're walking in. Sun's coming up. We have a south wind. Uh, by 10 or 11, it's supposed to get up to about 13 mile an hour. Clear skies. That's what you want. Those birds are going to be looking into the sun. We're going to be in white and ghillie blankets. Hopefully they don't see us. We got old Frederick though. He's a happy dog today. I got my snacks. I'm a happy dog today. Here we are. We're at the edge of the spread walking in. Fred's loving it already. And Brad's waving, ready to go. Beautiful. Look at this. Yeah. We need to fix some decoys. We got a couple on their back here, but we got a big circle out in front of us. Probably have to loosen it up as it goes. I don't know about the ghillie blankets. We'll try them, but hiding under the full bodies today, I'm gonna sit down, get the e-collar on. Hi there, Freddy Rico. What do we got? Oh, oh, we got a single Rossi loving it. Uh, I got the shot cam on the gun today. It's on the bottom of the tube. Long story short is um, that when I put it on the tube like this, the angle is way off. I don't think I'm going to be able to fix that. It's so off. It's like way off. I'll try to adjust it, but just know it's going gonna, it's gonna to show that I'm shooting high when I'm not. Do what you can. But we're all set up. I will show you more of the new Facebook Marketplace by 50 dozen full bodies. Might as well call it 50 dozen. It's right at like 47. Um, now 14 dozen are the shells, which I will show you those here in a little bit as well. But everybody make sure you're like way down. Just use it as a headrest. Oh, here he comes. We got a single boys. He is doing it all sorts of dirty. I'm just going to film it on the big camera here. Right above you, Fred. Yeah, right above you. Oh, look at him. He's loving it, Frederick. He's going to come back. He's going to get lower. Look at that. Every time that e-collar hits, he's <laughs> Every time that e-collar hits. All right, we'll, we'll shoot him here, boys. Shut up! Nice shot. Ooh. 
I knew it wasn't gonna take much. Watch your guns. Woo! Tristan! I'll call the shot, bud. Just be patient and be ready to shoot. He's like, you gonna go? You gonna go? Bob, Bob. The other day I told you, shh. I didn't think you Good lordy. Look at him. There we go. That is a Juvie Ross. Look at him. Itty bitty guy. First bird down. Skunk out of the boat. Juvie on the ground. And he loved it. Yeah, yeah. He ain't gonna come over. That boy don't want the smoke. Here we go, we have birds. Start the track over again. Woo, they're coming. Oh my. Just awesome flocks coming out. Make sure you're way down, boys. Yeah, right, they ain't gonna separate. Well, a group of lessers. Come on, snow geese, get out of there. There's snows mixed in. And um, I'll be, here's some darks out front. We'll see if they like it, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to lay in the decoys like this much. The snows are just kind of freaking out. I don't, I don't know if I have the collar too loud. I've been turning it down. I just don't think we're hid very well. And the sun needs to come up a little more. We need some more wind. I'm just gonna keep complaining here, but I don't know. Come on, come on, keep coming, keep coming. There we go, get ready on the right, don't move. Oh, man, they're so weary. Are they loving it? Okay. Poke him. I don't think we're gonna hit him. No, no bird, Fred, here. He wasn't getting any closer. Here, Fred, here. Sit. Good boy. No bird. Lay down. Lay down. Good. Is he coming back? Oh. Man, he just wasn't going to do it any better than that. Should have took him on the first pass. He got higher and higher. Well, that's no more waiting. We're just going to shoot when they're the lowest. And the lowest probably means the first pass. Shoot up! Nice shot! Get back down, there's birds! Here! Here! Come on, lay down, lay down. Good boy, hold it. Give. My bird. He got tore up. Lay down. No band, another Rossi. Lay down. There we go. Two birds in, get down, get down. A lot of birds coming out. Lay down. We have opted to put full bodies on our chest. Lay down, Fred. Lay down. Lay down. Yeah, this is the situation. I have a feeling it actually did help. <laughs> full bodies sitting on your chest. Uh, I love the full bodies, but the next hunt we do with them, we're gonna have to get out of them, use an A-frame or use lay down blinds and get out of the spread and let it do its work. I think it'd be a lot better, honestly. We landed one adult in the kill hole. He is standing directly in the kill hole. I might turn on the old shot cam and give him the one-two punch if nothing else is gonna work here, but I think I should. Definitely think I should. All right, I'm gonna shoot him. Are we clear for one shot? Yeah, go for it. Oh no! Oh no, he's dead. Oh no, sit, Fred, sit. Fred!
Oh, he completely <laughs> destroyed the decoys. Well, number three, I'll take it. Kind of have to take what you can get today. I mean, honestly, they're just not liking us laying in these decoys. Good Fred, drop. That's a big old adult. I don't know how we tricked him so well and not any others. Show you the spread here real quick. This is what most of these Facebook decoys look like. They actually look really good. The guy I got these ones from in particular that are on the round bases, he said, and these ones, he said that they were used for two seasons. Now these ones are different. They are a little older. They got some old tail loops on them. Uh, these actually go on the regular stakes that go on the ground. But honestly, but honestly, for how cheap I got them, which was, uh, let me, I'd have to tally it up. I think for everything total, right at 50 dozen, I think I spent, how much? 5,100. Well, that's, what, what was it before paying you? Lay down. Really? So yeah, right at 5,000 bucks for this whole spread. Now, a lot of you are like, oh my God, that's a lot. Go tally up what 50 dozen full body decoys or even these shells cost you brand new. I guarantee you. How much? $100 a dozen. Yeah, not a bad deal at all. What do you think, Frederick? You having fun? Uh, you want more birds in your mouth? Lay down, lay down. Good boy. Oh man. Barely got the camera on in time for them. Absolutely, the specs are just loving it. Right here. That's the huge. Come on, get lower than that. Still coming out front. Lay down. There we go. Oh, them Rossies. Get ready, boys. These Rossies are gonna get squirrely, these three. My goodness, the birds just don't love us laying in it. That's the bottom line. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at these darks. White's coming. Lots of white coming. Oh wow. Lots. Get way down on your backboard. Like below down. Oh my goodness, we're about to have a bunch of birds come over us here. Pintails. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, where are the stupid ones at? <laughs> yeah, we need the dumb ones, Fred. Where are they at, buddy? Huh? Lay your head down. Widgeon. Honkers. Lesser. <laughs> Ducks, mallards. You name it, it's all here. Got to be very careful with the shooting, guys. We're going to be patient. Look out front. Lay down. Lay down. This is wild. Ugh. God, you can't shoot that. Can't do that. Them Canada's were right beside them. Wrist, dude. It, we can't land this spread. That's the issue. That is the issue at hand, laying in the spread. If this was a pit blind, different story. But they're not loving it because we're laying in it. It's the only way to get out in the middle of the field, you know. There's no trash. This ain't a cornfield. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, if he's down there, shoot him. Don't miss. Like I almost did earlier. Where's he at? Oh. Nailed him. Good deal. I'll get him. Yeah, those Canada's out front that are in the field didn't even get up. Here, Fred. Heel. Set. Fred. Oh, well, we got a lot of birds coming back to water now. How close was he? Fetch it up. Good. Let's go, Fred. Come on. 
Yeah, he was pretty close. I didn't know he landed over there. Set. Heel. Heel. Hold. Yeah, you hit him pretty good. He's pretty feathered. There we go. Another little Juvie Ross. Sweet. Sweet. Well, we're in what? Four birds? Four birds deep. <laughs> well, the guys already did this by the time I got the start back in here. I want to show you guys real quick what all they look like. Look at those. I mean, they look absolutely perfect. That's some good looking decoys for Facebook Marketplace. He's got his name on the bottom of every one of them. I guess I'll know they're mine. Trippy. Oh, there she goes. Oh, well, it's a few days later now. Um, actually, yeah, a couple or a few days later. Look at this weather. Nothing like the other morning when we were trying the Facebook Facebook Marketplace decoys. Oh, all the snow is gone. Uh, in the last two days, it completely disappeared. And your boy cut his hair. Woo it's actually a horrible haircut. My wife did it. She's not proud of it. I woke up the other day. I think my hair was in my face and my mouth and woke me up like five times in one night. You know the deal. Uh, yeah, woke me up at like five times in one night. I've been sick of brushing it and taking time out of my day to maintain it. So I'm like, you know what, get rid of it. I'm gonna start over. So didn't knock it all the way off, just knocked it down so I could start from a fresh spot again. Feels good. Feels really good, man. I don't have to brush it. I don't have to do anything with it. I wake up, run a comb through it, and I'm out the door. It's really nice. So, all my long-haired fans, it's still there. It's still there. Don't worry. It'll be growing back again. But we're taking all of the decoys. We scouted. Joe and I. Joe's here. Um, we scouted literally all morning. Found zero birds until about an hour ago. And we noticed one thing. Uh, with a lot of south wind, sunshine. Today it's going to get up to like 64 degrees, I believe, 65. And tomorrow it's going to hit 70 degrees with a south wind at 17 to 20 mile an hour by like 10 a.m. So, long story short, we're loading up everything. I'm going to go edit up this video for you all. And uh, I just got permission from a farmer to set a my greater spread i'm gonna run it for like two or three days if it's really good we'll just keep it up the good thing is is it's in an awesome area lots of migration the flight line there is amazing uh it's quite a ways away from the lodge so i might even take my new camper which you guys haven't seen i might take it fred what are you doing but we might take the camper and uh, uh hang out sleep beside the spread on the road or something i don't know yet but we're gonna go get it set up this afternoon be expecting the my greater video the my greater spread it's my first one ever setting a permanent spread it's gonna be a lot of fun uh pressed and Gage, joe and i uh so we're ready to get there we're ready to uh for tomorrow we're gonna be in t-shirts it'll be amazing so Thank you all for being here. I really appreciate all of your guys' support over at the podcast. Um, everybody that's became a patron and subscribed to the podcast, you all are entered in the turkey hunt giveaway. Anybody that wants to get entered, go over, join the podcast, five bucks a month. Yes, you'll be entered to win the turkey hunt, but the podcast is amazing, awesome content, and hilarious. Thank you guys so much for supporting me all these years by buying Ducks gear. These vests, hats, they're all available. I will link it all down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for being here yet again. I hope you guys are uh, ready for spring and warm weather. I'm ready to start camping. Like I said, I got a new camper that you all have to see yet. So have a good one, y'all. Until next time. Shut up. Nice shot. Get back down, there's birds. Here Fred, here, fetch it up. Let's go. Here. Here. Come on, lay down. Lay down, good boy, hold it. Give. My bird. <laughs>